the decision that Aaron Rodgers made and the contract that um, uh, he said were, really wasn't in front of him, but is in front of him, and he hasn't signed. I mean, there, everything's still up in the air, but except for the fact that he's decided to stay. And you know, you and I have been talking about this subject for two years now. Yes. And and uh, are you surprised at how this has resolved? Where Jordan Love may never see the field again. And it's Rogers um, from here all the way through to whenever he's done. Yeah, Rich, a lot to unpack. I mean, he, we did talk about this for two years. We were right, or I was right. Last year, they would come back when there was a lot of dissension and there was a lot of angst and drama. And he did come back. And then this year, I thought there was time for a change that they would transition to love after a two-year apprenticeship. For Jordan Love, not a three-year apprenticeship, which Aaron Rodgers had 17 years ago, but he's back. And now comes the question of the contract, which I think will help us determine is if, like you said, they're moving, they really don't see a future for Jordan Love, or they do. This could very well be, Rich, just like Aaron and Brett, a three-year apprenticeship. They're running it back this year. They got Adams on a tag. They're going forward with their cap deficiencies, and they'll see what's next after that. And they move to Jordan Love next year. But we heard talk, as you said, about a four-year contract and all these big numbers. I am saying this. I do not for one second believe this is a four-year commitment to Aaron Rodgers or from Aaron Rodgers. And I do believe the Packers are not giving up on Jordan Love. So what what does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, <laughs> hold on a second. All right, uh, you had me at at uh, at uh, this. Hello. So you you okay? Keep going. Keep okay. going, Andrew. Yeah. Keep going. I know because I started this twenty something years ago. The Packers do not guarantee true guarantee more than the first year of the contract, and they have held that through even Aaron Rodgers' last contract. So. This idea of $150 million guaranteed, well, maybe, but it's not going to be real guarantee. The real guarantee is going to be some huge signing bonus this year, which will be prorated for a number of years to dummy out the cap. And for people who don't know, you take the signing bonus and prorate it on the existing number of years. You get a cap number way down, which they need. They'll have a low salary. Now, maybe there's guarantees, quote-unquote, if he's on the team next year that trigger – Another whatever, 40, 50 million, maybe even more in 2024. But what I'm pointing out is if there are future guarantees, number one, they're probably, they're probably only if Rodgers is on the team. And number two, they can move to another team if he's traded next year. So let's get this out of the way first. The fact that they're making a huge guarantee to Aaron Rodgers doesn't commit him to the team more than this year. Number two, here's where I want to really know about the business of Aaron Rodgers. Last year when he came back, we heard from everyone, NFL Network, ESPN, everybody, that what he got besides bringing in Randall Cobb was a void, an opt-out after 2022. I thought maybe they'd give it to him after 2021, but it was after 2022 That is extremely valuable. That's Tom Brady leaving New England. That's creating an opportunity for him to be the most valuable free agent in NFL history and have pick a number, 10, 12, 15 teams bidding on him in a year. My question is, did the Packers get that out of the contract? Or is it still in the contract? Because if they got it out, wow. Like, wow. And then $50 million a year is a bargain. If they got that out, or maybe everyone was wrong and that was never in the deal. But that is extraordinarily valuable. And if it's still in the contract, then it's a one-year deal, right? Then it's Aaron Rodgers having now next year, just like Brady had in New England. And we'll see what happens then. So there's there's the start to the unpacking. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Unpacking? That's like dropping a whole airport's worth of luggage on top of this thing. So hold on a second. You're saying we're maybe not done with talking about Rodgers and the Packers being done? Is that what you're saying? That 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 this 
is just a, a way to window dress up and salary cap massage running it back one more time? Is that what you're saying? A couple things. Rich, am I, am, I, am I the only one? Did you not hear this in August <laughs> that Aaron came back, he imports his, the conditions were importing his buddy, Randall Cobb, having some soft language about we'll reassess after 2021 and avoid an opt-out after 2022. Now, if I'm Aaron Rodgers or his lawyers or his agent or his friends, or how in the world are you going to give that up, that extraordinary valuable contract property, if that was important to you before? And you know what just happened, Rich? He took two months to decide to come back to a place he'd been for 17 years. You think that's the end of that? You think you think that come the end of 2022, he'll just say, yeah, I'm good again? I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that we're good for multiple years here. And then the other part is Jordan Love. And people can say, well, who cares about Jordan Love? Well, I think the Packers care about Jordan Love. You know, I've talked about this with you before. Aaron Rodgers fell in our lap. We didn't want to take a quarterback, but he was there. Jordan Love was aggressively and affirmatively traded up for by the team. It's this guy didn't fall in their lap. They went and got him. They want him to play. The question is when. So I don't know. Is it going to be three years like Aaron? Is it going to be four years? Is it going to be never? I would bet against never. That's for sure. So, Andrew Brent here on the Rich Eisen Show. Yep. Uh, Hoskins, pop up uh, Roger's tweet. So, Roger sent this tweet out um, amidst all of the hoopla and yep. reporting that happened um, the other day. And he wrote, hey, everyone, just want to clear some things up. Yes, I will be playing with the Packers next year. However, reports about me signing a contract are inaccurate, as, this, as are the supposed terms of the contract I quote-unquote signed. I'm very excited to be back. And then he's got the, you know, bicep emoji. And then this now, based on your uh, opinion, now catches my eye. He just put hashtag year 18 with a heart. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's what he basically put, just year 18. I thought to myself, okay, because I, I'm making this out to think this is it. He's now locked in. He's retiring as a Packer. He's got this contract as a Packer. He finishes. He's the Tom Brady as the Packer. I call him. He's the Tom Brady of the team that they're going to commit to him after turning 37 to multiple years to see if he can do what Tom Brady did. They believe in him. And you're saying that this is just essentially, um, you know, completing whatever was discussed last year to just run it back this year is again, I, I know I'm keep on revisiting this, but well, so, so when, I, I guess, when do we see the contract terms new league right. year hits next Wednesday? We'll all see the proof in this pudding right now. It's gotta, what be, you're saying? It's gotta be before that. Now here's what the contract is going to look like from a cap point of view. They're yes. going to have a huge bonus and load the salary, whatever the minimum is and say his minimum's a million dollars. Say he gets, Pick a number, $70 million bonus. So you can add five years or add four years to the existing year. So you make it like a five year, whatever it is, and you prorate the 70 million over five. That's 12, add a million in salary, that's 13. You bring it down from he's at 30 something now. So you get 18 million of cap and they're on their way. But you're pushing out a lot of pain, especially if he's not there. Let's just bring this all back to the contract, this whole discussion, we will see this at some point. Does it have the out? Where's the guarantee level after 2022? That will guide us on the future. But even taking that aside, Rich, I mean, you followed this as much as anyone. Do right. you really think whatever went on in Aaron's mind for two months since losing to the 49ers is not going to be back? At the end of this year, whether it's trade, retirement, whatever his thoughts have been, that's hard to believe. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.